Hey, what's going on, guys? So, for this video, I'd like to ask you guys to like, comment, and subscribe. So, I have updated our inventory list because of Yeezy Day. I did tell you guys that I did buy a good amount of Yeezys, but I added the um, SKU number. This is basically the end shows exactly what, um, pretty much what product it is. So, if you go to StockX, if you go to StockX and look up that specific number, so this is the H. So, these Yeezys are the slides that I got um, currently. Those are doing pretty good in value. We could check actually the value of them. We have a size 8. Look, look at size 8. I don't sell on StockX. I sell on eBay because StockX sometimes has more fees than eBay does. So it's better to make money. So there's some for 115. If we make, we put 70 in there, we probably make 30, maybe $35, 36. Well, 35 to 40 is what we would make off of one of those sales. It's pretty good profit. It's not that bad. It does, it does cost 70 bucks, so it is pretty decent. We could check also these Easy V2s and see how they're doing. We paid 230 for them. Let's check their value currently. These are the Oxens, not Oxens, what are these? Yeah, Ox, Oxen. Blacks, these are going for size 8, is currently going for 252, so it's about $20 profit there, which is not much. And we also do have to pay fees on that, so it's a little bit less than that. But it's still profit, profits, profit, and we were hoping to make money off this, right? So, like I said, I could check all these shoes, but I'm not going to check everything. I This is the inventory I have currently. Um, I don't have the Squishmallow yet, and I also don't have the Barbie's Gates, but I put them in there right now. I did get in the Hot Wheels, which is pretty cool. I'll show you guys that one. I'm actually pretty, I actually could like that uh, quite a lot, and the rest of the shoes, they're pretty interesting. Because I also do like all the shoes, but obviously I wouldn't wear them, because I'm going to sell them, but... I do want to show something we did sell. We did sell the lottery pack dunks from the last episode that I showed you guys. Those are now gone. I sold them for 142 and we bought them for 120. So pretty much we made like $22, which is not a bad amount of money. That is a good meal for one person pretty much. We I want to update my expenses because I did uh, these are the expenses that are, I mean these are the consistent expenses that I have. So I have the sneaker group, which I paid 121 for three months. Then I have the sports that I put $100 in, but like I'm, I stopped doing that. Then I bought the 15 of these accounts, which I haven't been able to use yet, but I will use these on the next Adidas drops. And then I have the one, the one year membership on the Hot Wheels. So that's $10. And then the stock group that I joined was 20 bucks. But let me show you guys our stock group now. We ended the sports betting, so we ended sports betting losing money, which is okay. And then our stock stuff. We ended making $138 profit in our stocks, which is pretty good because we only paid $20 per the group. So we technically made $118, which is not bad at all. Well, not $118, $108, right? No, $118 actually. We made $118 off the stock group. I do want to switch that. Uh, I want to make it a different account than my, than my main account because my Robinhood account, this account right here, is basically my account for um, long-term stuff or long holds. Like, like in this account, I want to stick with Ford, uh, Bank of America, get some more shares. I do want to get rid of these Riots, FUBU, um, Hood, and I want to get rid of this UBX, which I might get rid of actually today. Actually, I might get rid of this today. I don't know how much money it's in there, but let's check. Actually, only $0.34. Cents. I will sell this out, though. Just because... I guess I'll just do all. Yeah, we'll sell this out because that was a free one I got a while back. And I don't remember how much I got it for free. Maybe we could check the history, actually. Yeah, I got it. Oh, that's a reverse split. Um, doesn't show me exactly how much I paid. Let's show the history of it. But basically, I got this share for free, and I'm just selling it out here just because I don't want to hold this for a long term. I don't think it's going to be useful. So yeah, that's gone now. So basically, I want to get rid of these four. Well. 100, 200, 300, 400, 400 shares of these stocks I want to sell out eventually. But I'm trying to get my money from Coinbase, like I've mentioned before, right? So basically, I want to make a new account with TD Ameritrade or another account to start trading, to start trading, and then use that account for specifically only options. And if it ends up going bad, then I'll close that account and stick to what I'm doing. And if it goes good, I'll keep that account running as long as possible. That's the basic idea with the stock stuff. So right now we're chilling with the stocks. I might actually leave both the groups that I joined and stick to one group that I have a lifetime account for. So I am in this group um, called Stock Totes. I'll pull it up now. This is going to be the stock market stuff here. 
So pretty much this group is ran by, let me change to split capture. This group is ran by 301 Live. He places trades here. And today he placed an NVIDIA trade here where he bought a 390 call at 293. He bought eight of them. Um, bouncing off the 90 MA here after the 15 minute mark, 15 minute candles, and then NVIDIA scaled six. So he took off six of his position for 395. So pretty much he made $600 on this play. Then he uh, only had two more left. So he kept two to see if it went higher. It didn't go higher. So he exited the last two at 216. That means he basically lost about like, let's say eight, $70. For those two so 600 minus 140 so he pretty much made like four to five hundred dollars on today's trade so i want to follow his trades but his trades are very expensive like that 293 multiply that by eight 293 times eight is equivalent to two thousand three hundred forty four dollars which is his trade but you'll he made 600 off of that so it's a pretty decent trade if he would have sold all of that actually he would have made $800 profit off of that, but he didn't sell all of it because obviously you don't want to always sell all your whole position But he has other trades that he put on here like Nvidia He sold a put here at 38 and he put a stop at 280 250 That was a loss there of like a hundred dollars, which is okay He put four of them so technically lost four hundred dollars, but he made some money back here So he's still positive for the week. I think even on this trade here. I think he traded spx he's made a good amount of trade so that's why i'm like okay well maybe i'll follow him and the other thing is i don't pay for his group because i am here i have a lifetime membership so i did pay 500 dollars to get lifetime on this group a while a long time ago but i haven't used them for a while just because i haven't been trading stocks like they do i've been trading options but i'm kind of interested in learning how to trade options and do it this way but I'm also trying to build some other stuff in the stock market that I will probably show. Right now we're keeping it kind of secretive, but I might show in the future. Hopefully I can. But for now, we'll leave the stock market stuff by itself. And I think that's pretty much all I want to show you guys a summary. So right now we have $1,558 in inventory. We also have total revenue. We've made $375. That's uh, considering the stocks. So um, sales. That's very much considering the money we've made here. So the money we made here is what that counts. So we, the 138 stock market stuff, the 95 sports betting, and the 142. We didn't make profit on sports betting. I just put this because I cashed out my money before I lost all of it. So that's why we have $95 here. But basically, in summary, our expenses uh, are currently all of these. The groups and all the memberships and the accounts and that stuff. That's basically our expenses. So in our summary, we're down $1,441. But basically, our inventory is way more than our profit slash losses. So inventory, as soon as we get rid of all our inventory, even at break even, we will still be profitable. But we're not going to sell everything for break even. We're going to at least make some money off of it, even if it's like 10 bucks per item. We will still get more money out of it. So I do need to sell this inventory, which is back there. I, will, I do want to show you guys what we got in. So give me a second. I'll set that up. Okay guys, so these are all the items that were in those boxes. So the first thing I want to show is actually the Porsche. Uh, I think it was, let me look into our thing. It's the Porsche 959. So pretty nice, pretty nice little car thing. Hopefully I can sell this. It's actually going for like around 60 bucks on eBay currently. But then we also had these, I didn't put these on the list. These are some KDs, which these were on sale pretty deep discount i think i bought these for 145 when they're going for 60 retail so because at discount i might be able to sell these on ebay or somewhere else i am thinking maybe on goat because these actually are listed on goat but i need to make sure i can sell those and then here are the yeezy slides these are actually very comfortable i might think about i might think of getting myself a pair but i'll definitely hold off on that just because i want to be first make start making money right and then i could probably start buying my own certain clothes stuff like that I also do like these foam runners. These foam runners are pretty nice, actually. They also are really comfortable. I have I had multiple pairs of these come in before when I was reselling, but they are very profitable, so I probably will sell these. And I also, again, I might buy myself a pair of any of these shoes in the future, just to like have, so I could actually wear it in my day-to-day -day life. And then we have our 
350s. So these are the belugas, I believe. So they're pretty nice also. All these things are nice and they all sell. So hopefully I can make money on those. But those are all the inventory I've gotten. Currently, I still do have the Panda Dunks chilling. And I don't have the Snorlax yet, but I will get that. I need to put this shoe into our sheet and I'll put that in today. So for now, guys, thanks for watching. I'll see you all uh, next week. Bye.